Let's take a look at Bravo in his very first trial and see what improvements, um, if any, could have been made. Okay, here's Bravo, first trial with Liz. March 23. Good dog. So now we will re-watch it. Might pause it at a couple spots to just make some, um, just some notes that will help Liz in the future for her future competitions. Okay, here's Bravo, first trial. So here, when she first started out, she could have had Bravo do the tire and immediately say her cue for the A-frame. That way, as soon as he was coming out of that tire, he would be looking for the A-frame. Especially for Liz, she wants to be able to give these information out as fast as possible. So Bravo will know what obstacle to look at. So just a little earlier um, cueing would be helpful, which is very common when we're doing agility. Very good cueing there. If you saw when she said table, he knew. Again, she could have said it a little earlier, but because he looked at her and she was able to give him that information, he didn't get as confused and he could drive there a little bit faster. Now here, as you saw when you watched it the first time, Bravo had a little bit of trouble with his weave pulls. So what, again, if she had mentioned it to him a little bit earlier, also, if there was a way, and it's hard from this angle for me to be able to see, but to give him a little straighter shot to enter the weave pulls. I know Bravo, so I know that he's still, you know, not mastered weaves completely yet. So giving him early information, letting him see the weave pulls straight on, if possible, if there was a better way to get an angle, could have helped him find that entrance a little bit faster, but he ends up doing a good job. Very good teeter for a dog who used to be terrified of the teeter. Here, Liz could be giving him a little more cue to tunnel a little bit sooner. So he was looking for that tunnel. You could see him turning around looking at her. That's just because he's wondering what he's doing great is he's being a very good boy and staying with her and, and really waiting for her to cue him to do other things. And I can't see or hear what happened here. But again, I think that this might have been a situation of not getting the cue out fast enough for Bravo to know he's supposed to do um, dog walk there. But also in this, it looks like, again, it's hard from this angle, that Liz may have gotten a little too far ahead of him. So she was already past the starting point of the dog walk. So that may have been why Bravo bypassed it at first. So if she stays back a little bit and lets him take the lead a little bit, it might it may help him out a little bit too. It's very windy. and so it's very hard for dogs to perform. So Bravo's doing a great job. Both of them are doing a great job. See, and that was a great ending where she was able to send him out um, forward and he finished that um, course. That was very, very nice. So just some small little things, but for a very, very first time competition, I would say that was a huge success. So let's watch this next course that Bravo did. Again, one of his first times competing. 
Let's take a look first and then we'll look at it more closely. So we will watch this one again and uh, with some discussion. Again, a great job for a first time. Um, you know, he didn't zoom off. He didn't take off. So really, really great skills here. Just a couple things that might make it a little easier for him the next time and help Liz a little bit here too. So the first thing that I would suggest for Liz, um, she has some limitations. So she's not super fast and in this setup, what I probably would have done too, or maybe suggested if it was possible, since Bravo has a pretty reliable stay, is do a little further lead out. So lead out to the second jump so that she could be a little bit ahead of him. So let's take a look at this. With the lead out, she would have been able to be next to the second jump, and then maybe it would have guided him a little bit and not accidentally pulled him off when she was running over to the next jump. So um, sometimes that's you know, just thinking about what our dogs are thinking and what they're going to see. And, and she was anticipating the third jump before he had even finished the second. Some really great rear crosses there. And for a novice dog, you know, rear crosses are so difficult. So, you know, she got some good rear crosses there. And so that was really nice. This rear cross turned into a back jump, which, um, you know, happens sometimes. And partly because Bravo is still really mastering rear crosses. So that's one. Uh, another thing that could have potentially helped him a little bit is if Liz was able to get um, go continue on uh, and finish the that jump before she was thinking about the next. So that happens really commonly with people when they're doing agility. They're so much thinking about what they have to do next. They forget to think about the one they are working on. So um, thinking about just being very present and then moving on will really help you stay focused. It's an important reason why you should, you know, really walk your course a lot so you really know that. But nerves will get the best of you sometimes. Here's another place where uh, Bravo has struggled with the weaves. No criticism at all because he's still learning and he's doing amazing. Um, but when he's coming in kind of fast after an obstacle, he's not great yet at being able to hit that entrance um, at speed. Something Liz could consider trying is to slowing him down. So using an easy cue, having him slow down, um, even a slow down, or if she really needed a, a quick sit, then weave probably would save more time than trying to attempt the weaves multiple times. So even if it's a little slower, but it's accurate the first time, she could still be under time potentially if she practiced, you know, just slowing him down a little bit until he masters entering that entrance at a speed. So he eventually gets these weaves, but takes him a minute. Another thing Liz could have considered, and it's hard to think this on the spot when you're in there, but with afterthought, is she could have potentially changed, changed sides and tried to have Bravo weave with him on her right. I'm not sure if that would have made him stronger, but since she had to, um, it go to the left, it might have been a little easier. And then she could have pulled him instead of having to push him to the next obstacle. That one's hard to know for sure if that would have helped at all from this video. Here you can also see Bravo starting to get a little bit tired. 
So as he's um, getting a little bit tired and having a hard time driving, um, one thing that Liz could do, and I have had to do this with my own dogs, is what I call use your cheerleader voice and really push them to drive um, with a happy tone. So go, 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 or let's go, or really try to push for those these last three jumps, um, him to be um, really motivated by some verbal praise. But good boy, bravo, good job, Liz. This is one of those, um, you know, great, again, first time competitions um, with some of those little tips as he progresses through competition. He should just keep getting better. Now we will look at another course that he did this weekend, Bravo, in this weekend, his first weekend trial. And see, first we'll watch it first so you can kind of see how it goes. And then we'll look at what things could be made different to make him a little more successful. So with this one, you can hear, and it might just be because um, we're closer and the wind's blowing, but definitely much better communication, much louder, clear communication. The cues were much earlier. So tunnel was said much earlier. So um, really good. And her energy was a little, seems a little higher because we could hear her voice, which you could see in Bravo's body. So let's look at some pieces that could make this a little bit better. Um uh, well, and we'll be starting with these weave poles, which again, he is still practicing. So there's no judgment, but just something that could help him on trial days because that anxiety happens. And if you're already not perfected at it, just makes it that much harder. So here, another place where if Liz was able to lead out, have Bravo take the first jump, then pause, maybe even make him sit, take a quick breath, then say we, he won't be getting so flustered. Sometimes I see dogs who keep attempting the weave poles and it's almost like the harder they try, the worse they get just because they're trying so hard. So giving him that moment to take two or three seconds, he may be even less just to pause, could actually save the whatever, however many seconds this was to get him to complete his weave pole. So just a little bit more of a lead out, a little bit more of a plan, which when it's your first trial, you have no idea what's going to happen. So again, no judgment. She did great. They both did great, but this will hopefully help her and anybody else who's listening. Here was um, good cueing, verbal cueing, but um, it he needed to go to the more distant entrance um, or he needed to go to the closer entrance, but her shoulders were kind of sending him a little bit more to the further entrance. She did get him back, which was excellent. Um, but if she had kind of done a shoulder pull um, to her right, it might have pulled him a little bit more into the entrance of this tunnel. Excellent call there. Excellent here. Um, having him come back to her. She didn't have to go deep, so she didn't have to travel as much. That was a really good right there. Super nice series there. He could see the jumps. She was very clear with her cues saying him ahead of time. So he knew right where to drive. And if you looked at him, he didn't turn back. He didn't have to look and wait for any information. He knew right where to go. That was an excellent um, couple obstacles there. Very, very good. And um, overall, a really good run. And just with those weave poles, which I know he is working on. So that was a really good run. You know, getting that communication out, she's much better at planning, knowing where she was, working the obstacle she was at, but then also being able to send him where he needed to be. Good job. Good, great teamwork there. 
Here's the last one from this trial that we're going to take a look at and see what, what we can do to help Liz and Bravo just become a better team. So let's watch it through first, and then we'll um, watch it again as we are going through. So now let's look at this um, back again. First of all, I just want to say excellent handling. There was a lot of really great handling skills. Even when Bravo made a mistake, um, Liz did an exceptional job. The teeter historically has been a problem obstacle for Bravo. He's overcome it. So she did a great job going back to it and really working it slow. Um, really, really like good gold star for that. That was awesome. So let's watch it back over and see where we can maybe give some helpful hints. Here, I just want to give Liz some more kudos for she saw that Bravo slowed down. And um, if she had continued forward, he probably would have jumped off and then could have had you know, be disqualified or hurt himself, um, which is the biggest fearful thing to worry about. So here she stayed right with him and let him process it and then move on. So great job, great handling. Really great cues there. She sent him to the tunnel. She didn't have to go in. She called him over. Really great handling. So here's that little teeter mistake. She got a little bit ahead of him. And because he's already a little nervous on it, um, you know, he just bailed, which happens. But I love what she does next, where she goes back, she goes slow with him, and then she does a beautiful front cross to fix her, to put herself back into position. Here's just another one of those situations with the weave poles. He just hasn't mastered going to the weave poles at full speed. So slowing him down, um, even if she had to make him sit for a second or two, just to get him um, to be able to hit that entrance um, successfully. Great rear cross there. Then as he approaches the A-frame, again, I think when she just got a little bit ahead of it, he wasn't sure. And doing the contacts aren't his most favorite. Um, he's getting there, but um, just waiting and letting him approach before she moves forward probably would have been helpful. It's a little hard to see on this view. That was an excellent run. Um, his just rear crosses are just being a, a novice boy, so he gets those donuts in there. Um, but he is, did great. Overall, they did exceptional for a first time trial. No zoomies, no pottying on the course. Um, a lot of the things that happened the first time. So great job, Liz and Bravo. Um, you should be very proud of yourselves. And I look forward to watching you grow and continue to build your teamwork. Great job.